Well, I'm delighted to be in a position to have a chat with Paul Doswell, first team manager. Paul, over the last few weeks, you've had about a COVID. How are you feeling? Yeah, better now. Uh, I mean, it was sort of normal 10 days, I think, that everyone gets, but no, it's, uh, it's nice to probably be a week after that now and feel okay myself. Yeah, all good. Brilliant. And obviously, in recent times, we've seen an upturn in results. The form table, as they say, never lies, and we sit very high in it. How does that make you feel with the upturn in, in the fixtures recently? Oh, it's much needed. Um, you know, we, <coughs> we're we top of the form guide over the last six games. We've won four, drawn two. Um, you know, that's a fantastic month that we've had. Uh, we probably need another month of that type of form to, you know, to get into the playoffs, which probably only five weeks ago looked a pretty distant memory, I think. So, so full credit to the players, um, full credit to the physio staff as well, because, you know, the big difference is we've now got, you know, those 13, 14 players fit. We played the same side in most of those six games, and I think that's all we've been asking for this season: is consistency of, of team selection and players available. Um, <clears throat> no massive credit, I think, goes out to, to the front three that are back, which is you know Wally. We've not had virtually the whole season. I think Duku and Payne have made a massive difference, uh, you know, to the club in the way that they train as well as they play. And I think Ben Stroll's come and done you know really well. A young kid that we brought in on loan from Aldershot that has been part of. You know, only conceding one goal in the last four games. You mentioned obviously the form table, the upturn. Looking forward to the weekend. We've got Billy Ricky here on our non-league day. Um, they're also very high, sitting second in that form table. How exciting does this Saturday's fixture look, really, to I the neutral both to us? Sides. It's both sides. It's uh, you know, it's a, it's, it's a really, really big game. It's a good game. I mean, they've won their last three. Um, you know, they've beaten Hungerford, who at the time were eighth. I think they've beaten St Albans, who were seventh. And they've now been in Oxford City, uh, who were four. So, you know, I don't think anyone should be looking at the actual table uh, on Saturday because Billerick have improved so much under Jody Brown. And, you know, I think the, the, the players that he's brought into the football club, um, there's some there with some real experience. And you look throughout their whole team and they, they've got a, a good side there now. And I think if the season started again, Jody would probably be looking at a top half finish, if not playoffs. So we've got to adopt. You know the attitude that we, is first versus second almost because that's where the form is at this time in the league. And we look forward to Saturday being non-league day. It's an international break. Portsmouth aren't at home; they don't have a fixture. How good would it be to welcome in more supporters into non-league football with the offers that we've currently got ongoing, such as the Flex League? Yeah, I think it's a it's a fabulous opportunity, especially you know for the people in this local area that, that want to watch a game on the weekend. You know they can come and get a Flex ticket, Flex League ticket for, uh, from the office. It means that they can come in for six pounds and their kids can come in for free and you know i don't know any other club in the area that's offering that type of deal so from our perspective you know we want as many people here as we can cheering us on it is a big game because after billericke we then go to maystone uh we're top so the next two games aren't aren't easy either by way of playing a team second in the form guide or or top of the actual league next week so you know we know we're in for a a, a real exciting finish to the season you know, we feel that we need to probably win six of the remaining nine games or certainly win five of the remaining nine games. So every game is important for us between now and the end of the season. And I think, you know, if we can achieve our goal, which was to get in the first round of the FA Cup and to make the playoffs in a very strange season for us, um, you know, that's the targets that we wanted. And it'd be lovely if we could actually hit those targets we set ourselves at the start. Despite the good run, like you said, we have some consistency in the squad, but we do have a couple of injuries and illnesses within the camp. Can you give us an update on that? Yeah, I mean, it's you know, you, you look at Saturday, we wanted to pick the same 11, really. Josh Pasley played the previous game against Hungerford and played well, but you know, Josh has currently got a, a chest infection. He's at home on antibiotics. Uh, ben Stroll in the same position on Sunday. He went down with it. Uh, and Jake McCarthy's been struggling with illness as well. So, you know, it's still not perfect as, as we want it to be um, we're hopeful that everyone will be reporting in Thursday uh, for training um, but we still got to wait and see on that uh, on that side of it um, good to see Godfrey Puku out here uh, as well training with the first team again today you know he continues his recovery from what was a serious cruciate ligament injury it was also good to see Mags out here um, you know watching training as well so everyone's together at the moment there's a real positive attitude uh, as I said around the camp um, and we're just really, as I said, all of us hoping for a, a top day out on Saturday. Paul, it's been great to hear from you. Great to see an upturn and we hope to see as many supporters on Saturday as possible. Thanks, Gary.